Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a Cantina Blue. As you can tell by the name, it is Star Wars themed, and I love almost everything about Star Wars. This is the way. Having said that, I was just thinking the uh, Mandalorian walking by in the back of my head going duh, duh, with that slow sauntering walk. Sorry, that has nothing to do with the cocktail. It's just what goes through my head. Anyways, this is a build in a glass cocktail that on many cases is very, very similar to a Blue Lagoon. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different in presentation and build. So you know what? Tell me exactly what you think. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill this with some ice. Once you've done that, you're going to grab your spirit. In this case, we're going to start this with gin. Uh, I'm using Beef Eater London Dry Gin. It is a dry style gin, and we need a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Your second ingredient is going to be citrus juice. Now we need two types of citrus juice in here. We need lime and we need lemon. So what we'll do is we'll just grab a little bit of lemon, give it a roll, cut this in half, and what we'll do is we will squeeze directly into the glass half an ounce or 15 mils. So like I said, you need a little bit of lime juice now after this. We're going to do the exact same thing. Chop one in half, and of course, squeeze it. <clears throat> Nothing's working, sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Now that you've done this, we're going to add some blue curacao, which will give us some more orange citrus notes because it is an orange curacao dyed blue. That's how you get the name for it. So we're going to use a total of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Once you have this gorgeous look, what we're going to do is add a little bit of soda water. And this is where you can adjust this a little bit by either using the soda water like I am going to here or you could use tonic water. And the soda water will just kind of give it a little bit of a lengthening effect. The tonic water will do the same thing, but it'll give you a little bit more depth of flavor. So you just want to fill this up. Grab yourself a half a lime and a half a lemon slice. Slide those in there. And what we'll do is we'll just give this a stir. You're going to grab yourself a straw, slam it in there and give it a try. Mm. Really good. It's not as sweet as a Blue Lagoon and that's because you're not adding a lemon lime soda, which has a lot of extra sugar. It is, however, very citrus forward, but it's not overly tart. If you like blue cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right up here.